Right, gas prices have been down since the pandemic, but they could jump back up once the lockdown restrictions are lifted. CBS 2's Candace Crone is live in San Pedro to explain why. Good morning, Candace. Good morning, DeMarco. The port has tankers filled with oil because there's simply nowhere to go, nowhere to store it. Now, that backup could mean higher prices for you and me. Let me get you to some video of some of those uh, tankers that you can see. They're floating in the waters uh, near the port with nowhere to go. We'll compare that to about three to five tankers on a normal day. Because of the stay at home orders, demand for gas has plummeted, leading to a backup in the global supply chain. Parts of the state's economy will start reopening tomorrow, which will boost the demand for gas. We spoke to an oil industry analyst at USC. With some of the refineries already shut down, experts fear what will happen when cars are back on the road. It's going to cost money to keep this tank is floating offshore, but somebody's going to pay for it, that it's going to be you and I. But you just hope if they have to stay here one month, two months, three months, nothing's going to happen to them. The average price of gas in L.A. County crept up overnight to $2.83 a gallon. In Orange County, it's $2.78. Prices held steady in the Inland Empire at $2.70 a gallon. And the price in Ventura County dropped slightly to $2.83. Back on her live, I definitely want to enjoy the low gas prices right now because, again, they are expected to go up. But at this point, it's unclear exactly how much. And as for those tankers that are still floating in the port of L.A., well, we're told that they're expected to be there at least to the beginning of July. That's the latest in San Pedro. I'm Candace Crone. I'll send it back to you guys in the studio.